Hey guys, Katie here. Today I'm going to be showing you all about the different types of click actions that you can use in Show It. So I am going to share my screen and show you all the different types. Hello, let's chat about click actions. So if you want to link anything on your site to something else, you will use what's called a click action. To see the click actions, you have to select something that could be clickable on your canvas. So let's say that I want to connect this text layer here, that says opt in here, to something. So on the right, you'll see that click actions appeared because it's something that could be linked to something. All right, so I'm gonna click click actions to expand it. So under here, you have two different things, right? You have link and actions. So if you choose a link, there are several types in this dropdown that you can use. If you select page, whatever you have linked can link to a page in your own Show It site. And if you click the page dropdown, you'll see all the Show It pages that you've created are there. So that's what the page type does. If you select canvas, a canvas is any area on the current page you have selected. So like if you hover over, you can see this is a canvas, this hover area is a canvas, this is a canvas. So if you select the type as canvas, you can link to an area on the current page that you're at. So let's say that I wanna select, I wanna link this opt-in to this canvas. Okay, so this canvas is called, if I select it over here, I can see what it's called. I see right now it's called I Believe. So if I go back to my text layer that I want to link, I'm gonna select it, go to Click Actions Canvas, and then select the I Believe Canvas. So now this canvas, or this link, <clears throat> will go to that canvas. Boop, like that. It'll scroll down there. All right, so the next type of link is top of page, which is pretty self-explanatory. So if you select that, it's going to, wherever you are on the page, it's going to pop back up to the top. We'll see if it even does it because it's already at the top. So if I select that button, it's not gonna do anything because it's already at the top of the page. However, if I find something lower down on this page, and let's say I'm gonna choose this text layer, I'm gonna change the type to top of page, I'm gonna say publish, and let's go see that. So now if I go click that option three button, it'll go back to the top of the current page that you are at. So I'm just going to undo that. <clears throat> All right, so let's look at the next type. The next type is a URL. So a URL is a page that will be outside of your website. So let's say that <clears throat> you have a feature where your work's been featured and you wanna link to that link. You would just copy and paste the URL so I just happen to have this page open, so I'm gonna select that, and I'm gonna paste that URL here. So right now, this link is set to go to that Lily Pulitzer gift page. Now, I do wanna show you something, though. All right, so if I click this, it should go to that page. Now, see how my site disappeared, though? So usually, if I'm ever linking to an outside URL, there's an option over here where you can say, Open in New Window. So I always select that so that people don't lose my site. So now if I reload the page and click that, it just pop opens a new browser window to that link and my site is still available. So that's what I usually do. All right, let's look at the next type. The next type is <clears throat> social. All right, so this is if you wanna link or if you wanna share your page somewhere. All right, so it says share page to Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, email. Um, I never do the email link because just as an FYI, like if you're on a Mac and you have it set to email, it's going to open mail, which I don't use mail and it drives me nuts. Anyways, so share page to Facebook, let's say. All right, so this will literally share that page to Facebook and you have the opportunity to post it on Facebook. So if I click it, <clears throat> there's a little, little pop-up here. It's the Facebook share and it's going to ask me where I want to share this page. All right, so let's look at the next type. The next type is email, which I just talked about. Um, so if you put, for example, your email in here, info at ribbonandink.com, and you click it, it's gonna open whatever mail app you have on your computer, which is why I don't like that. So I just wanna show you what that looks like. So if we reload it, 
it's going to open up my mail app, but I'm going to show it to you. So right now it's loading mail and I don't use mail. So it's a pain and it usually has updates and all these things. So I'm just going to force quit. It's not going to like open Gmail or anything. It's going to open an actual app on your computer. So in general, I don't use email. All right. So let's see what the next one is. SMS. <clears throat> So this is if you want, let's say someone to be able to contact you and text you, right? So I have this, um, I have, I just put my phone number in there. So like, let's say we have opt-in here and I'm going to actually just change that to not be my number. <laughs> um, let's say that you want people to be able to text you. You would choose the SMS. And so what'll happen is if you publish it, reload the page and you click that, it'll ask you, do you want to open this application? So this is probably more relevant for if someone's on your on your site on their phone because then they have the ability to just text you. All right, let's look at, I think there's one more, phone. This is the same thing as text message. So instead of pulling up um, the messages app to text you, someone will be able to call you directly from that button. So those are the different types of click actions. And I just wanna show you one more that's relatable to your contact page. So I'm gonna to go to the contact page on here. <clears throat> All right, so here's my form here. And I have a whole other video on setting up forms that you can look at. But in the form here, we have all our fields and then we have our submit button, all right? So your submit button on your contact form always needs to have a click action. Um, typically what I do is I set the submit button to link to a canvas. And I say, which canvas? This canvas. And then I have another view, another Canvas folder in here that has like a thank you message. So if you're over here on the left and it says forms, like that's where my contact form is in this folder. If I collapse that and look at view two, this is where my second um, view is. So when people click submit, I have it set to go to folder two in this Canvas and then they can do these things. So back to the submit button over here on the right, it's set to Canvas, which Canvas is Canvas, and then I'm selecting view two, which is that folder two. I also, if you want this form to submit, you have to it like actually be sent to you, you have to make sure that this box over here, submit contact form is selected. Now, keep in mind, wherever, whatever email you're using for your show it account is the email that your form is going to go to. Um, the exception being if you're embedding a contact form, like for example, I use 17 hats, I have that embedded there. So it goes, I mean, I still get it in my email inbox, but um, if you had a different email in your 17 hats, it would go there. Um, so those are the different click actions.